Alright guys, so I'm just going to do a real quick tutorial here with the plugin Luck Perms, just to show you the basics, how to set up a rank, how to give it a prefix, uh, how to give it multiple homes and permissions, and a parent group so it inherits permissions from another rank. So here we go, it's pretty simple. So to set up your first group, you want to do LP Create Group, uh, then the name, we're just going to say Test for today. And to add permission, or well, we're going to do two groups, so test and test two. So to add permissions to the group, you want to do this. LP group test. We're just going to give it a few permissions just as a demo of how to set it up. So LP group test, permission, set, and then you pick the plugin you want. So in this situation, we want Nucleus. Uh, and here, there's all these different commands I never like to press tab when you're searching for nucleus plugin or commands because there's a lot so for now we're just gonna give them access to something like spawn so nucleus dot spawn now in a lot of uh, command cases with nucleus you're gonna want to do say nucleus dot spawn dot base but nucleus does not have the dot base so you just want to do nucleus dot spawn then we'll say for another plugin let's say kits so to give them access to be able to use kits or slash kit, you want to do slash kit or dot kit dot base and then dot kit dot list so they can see all the available kits that they have. So from here, they have access to slash kit and slash kit list or slash kits. Now to actually give them access to a kit specifically, you want to do this. Instead of dot kit, it's dot kits, plural. And then the name of the kit, so we'll just say test. Right, that's pretty simple. And it's the exact same way with warps. You do you give them dot warp dot base dot warp dot list and then dot warps plural and the warp name and you're good. Uh, you can do it specific ranks, so say like say like test has access to warp wild and then test two when you rank up gets access to an EV training arena so you'll give test the warp wild test two the EV training arena so now test won't have it uh, but test two will now for other plugins besides say nucleus like this LP group uh, test permission set we're gonna say pixel extras but for example you can press tab and see all the different plugins that you can give permissions for uh, for some reason this is all the ones that are popping up for me there are much more than this but this is all it's showing anyway so we're gonna use pixel extras dot command dot and then you can press tab again to find the different commands it'll give you access to uh, I'm pretty sure there's more than this but this is the basic commands that are popping up so for example we'll give them EVs and IVs which allows members to use EVs and IVs so that's basically it for setting up one rank uh, let me show you the prefix LP group test uh, meta meta set prefix and here's how I do it and seven open and seven close and in between you put the prefix you want so in this situation we're just gonna say and six to make it like a, a goldish yellow and L to bold it and then the name test Ta -da. Uh, I'll link the uh, color codes page in the description so you know like how to bold, how to italicize, how to uh, change the color. Now, oop. in this situation, because I just did set prefix test, it set that as a priority of one, which is the lowest priority. Uh, say you want a helper rank uh, or a, just a staff rank, you want to set the priority as a higher number. So say I want it as 30, and then you make that's for helper and then mod 35 or 32 or 31 uh, 
every one you every rank you go up, you put another one higher. So helper, mod, admin, owner, you put the number higher, so it prioritizes that one, uh, assuming you're in that rank. Uh, or you parents the group, which I'm about to show you. So LP group test parent set. So now with this, or no, test two parent set. So the higher rank, you set the parent as the lower rank. And now the higher rank has all the permissions the lower rank has, but now you can add permissions to the higher rank that the lower rank will not have. Um, it's a way to just set it up for rank ups uh, without having to set the, all the permissions for each rank individually. Uh, and that's what I'm talking about with the permissions though. Uh, with this, uh, the priority is very needed because if you have the parent set like this and you had test set as one, or you say you had test set as 30 and test two set as one, no matter what, even if you're test two and you're parented by test one, your prefix is going to show up as test one because your priority for that is higher. That's Regigigas. I'm going to do it. At, yeah. Uh, sorry, I just want I have an habit. I have a habit of doing that when it pops up if I know it. Um Anyway, yeah, so that's basically it for the ranks uh besides home count, which is another tricky one because check this out. LP group test meta set. Instead of set prefix, it's just set. In this one, you can't press tab to have it pop up like you can with a set prefix and everything. So this one has to be a command you know. So home hyphen count and then the number. So let's say two. Now the test group or whichever group you're setting up has the ability to have two homes. And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, overall, it just becomes trial and error setting up the permissions find plugins you want to use uh, and then just give the non OP permissions to the basic members. So like I don't suggest giving pokey heal to a basic member. All right. That should be it. I hope this helped out some of you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave them down below. I'll try to uh, answer as much as I can. All right. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.